Hi, Adam. How are you today? Very good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. You know, before we jump in, too, I was thinking, really helpful if you have a moment to maybe give a word of introduction about yourself and your organization. Sure. I'm Adam Coyle. I'm the CEO of Digital River. And at Digital River, we provide an integrated suite of solutions that help businesses manage the complete back end of e-commerce, everything that happens after you hit the buy button. Um, as we like to say, we integrate payments, tax, risk, fraud, compliance, and fulfillment into one complete solution that plugs into uh, other commerce solutions, uh, much like, like Elastic Path. Yeah. Uh, so one of the questions I wanted to ask you was, and I suspect a lot of what you see is around when brands think about going to other markets, particularly international markets, all of those things come in. Um, in your experience, what do you see are some of the top challenges that brands have when they want to go international? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we really focus on helping brands step outside their domestic markets, wherever that domestic market is. You know, and when brands are thinking about expanding globally, they have to ask themselves a few questions. Um, the first of which is, where do you want to expand? Where, where does your brand play? Where do you see a core group of customers who are going to be receptive to your products or services? And then once you've made that decision and identified those additional markets, you have to start thinking about the real complexities and, 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 and sometimes the, 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 the sad realities of, of doing business overseas. Things like, how are you going to pay your taxes? How are you going to um, uh, make sure you're um, selling in a compliant fashion in those regions? Because the laws are different around the world. You need to think about what your consumers in those regions or those countries are going to want. They're going to want to see the kinds of payment types that they're used to accepting, which may be very different than the ones you're typically used to, to, to offering. Um, you're also going to want to see um, trading patterns and, and, and customs um, uh, issues addressed. How am I going to get my products or services across the border? What are the duties or, or, or customs uh, taxes that are associated with that, that transition? And then finally, obviously, thinking is part of that around the logistics partners you're going to need. How am I going to, am I going to fulfill my product across those borders? Mm -hmm. How is that product going to actually get to that consumer? What's that consumer's expectation about how things like returns will be handled? Do they expect to ship it back or do they expect to someone come to their location and pick it up? Um, all of those are the things that the, on the back end of e-commerce that we help sort of simplify by bringing them together, working in concert with other partners and working in concert with your core um, commerce solution. Yeah, it's a great point. I mean, I was talking to a customer once about this, and they said, you know, selling online internationally is the same and very different. And <laughs> it's the question about how to deliver the brand proposition, the product, the catalog, but manage for language variances and pricing and fulfillment and buying. Absolutely. And um, certainly an exciting opportunity to continue to expand the brand and also to go in aware of all of the regional market differences that we're going to experience. Yeah, I mean, you know, COVID has shown us one thing is that we're a very connected world. And uh, I think coming out of this, we're going to be even more connected. Consumers are increasingly willing to buy things across borders. Mm -hmm. They're seeing that, you know, as long as they can have the same experience that they've come to expect in their domestic market, and increasingly the capacity and the ability to have that same experience is, 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 is growing. Um, you know, I buy things now. I bought a a, a grill cover, all right, that was custom made in Pakistan, <laughs> in Pakistan, and literally it got to me seven days later. Um, I plugged wow. in my me measurements on a website and, and it gets delivered. It's amazing. Wow. Um, but, um, you know, that kind of success in the consumer experience um, will encourage me to buy some more stuff online. And I think that trend is only going to continue. And certainly will. We're definitely entering an exciting world for digital now. Absolutely. Well, thank you for coming on. It's been wonderful to have a chance, a chance to visit. And, um, Hopefully we get a chance to do it again soon. Great. Thanks so much. All right. Take care.